Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level Hello, Internet, and welcome back, or welcome to our coverage of Pixel Pop 2018. And I'm hanging out with Dev. That's right. The Dev. Dev the Dev. Of Newt One. Yeah, that's correct. So can you tell somebody the elevator pitch of what Newt One is in, in a nutshell if they don't know anything about the game? Absolutely. So Newt One is a nonviolent 3D musical platformer. And the concept, the high concept, is that all of the music and color has been sapped out of your world by the great slumber. And it's your job to bring that all back in a nonviolent way. So there's nothing that you can hurt or kill in the game. It's all about creating color and creating music and helping out the inhabitants of the world, not hurting them or killing them. So I was telling you when I, because I played the demo before, right before, and I was getting vibes of Banjo-Kazooie, the, collect, the collect-a-thons uh, from N64. I grew up on the N64. That was, that was my console growing up. Um, can you talk a little bit, though, about the, the thought process behind making a 3D platformer game and B, one that's not Violent, non-violent. Like, sure. why, why the decision to go non-violent? Sure. So uh, the main influence is, uh, the main influence for me as the, like, high-level game designer, my partner Ari does the art and level design and narrative stuff. So I do the programming, game design, and music. The main influences were really Mario 64 uh, and... Great game. Uh, yeah, one of the great, all-time greats, and Journey. So those, those were the two for which I was going. Secondary, like, Banjo-Kazooie, Loco mm -hmm. Roco. Uh, Katamari, those t those style of games, really crisp looking games, mm -hmm. and as far as uh, nonviolence goes, Ari's art is just so cute and bright that originally it was like a uh, Nintendo 64 game. It was like Mario 64. You would jump on these other creatures and kill them, and uh, I felt guilty doing it. And I just was like, "Hey, what do you think about doing a completely nonviolent game?" And he was all about it. We're just a couple goofy guys. Mm -hmm. So uh, the real challenge in then change to like how do you create a compelling experience that's where you don't have the usual tropes of jumping on things or killing things or getting weapons upgrading mm -hmm. your skill trees and stuff like that one of the things you did do is you have power-ups in the game absolutely Can you talk a little bit they're all music based so mm -hmm. the the first one was i'm trying to because i got the drums i got the staff what was the first one i got the wings the wings right. Can you talk a little bit about the power-ups and the idea behind each one of them sure so uh the the wings are uh, our way of kind of addressing the double jump Mm -hmm. you know, when you get the wings, when you jump, you hold down jump, you spread them, and it actually plays a different layer of music on top of everything, and it like spreads sparkles out into the world. So that was a way to open up the, the levels to be a little bit longer and to get, mm -hmm. uh, as you saw, like some areas you can't see, there's nothing there until you get close, and then the mm -hmm. platforms open up. So was and so, you get that scary long jump of like, yeah. can I make this? Exactly, to build some tension. Yeah. That's, that's a big part of music, too, is the tension and the release. Mm -hmm. So once you have the wings, the first couple times you get those big jumps, you're like, uh, but you hear this calming music, you're floating really far, and then you land correctly, and you get this release attention, and then you feel more empowered to explore. So mm -hmm. we wanted people to be able to do that. With the drums, we wanted something that would give you this, like, it, it, you, it charges up with this AOE, and then it bursts, but instead of an explosion of death, you get this explosion of life. It brings all the things that are around you mm -hmm. to life. And then the secondary version of that is uh, the, um, the burst of the drums also freezes water, mm -hmm. Uh, it's a game mechanic. Yeah, it becomes a, a it gets a different game mechanic depending on which world you're in as mm -hmm. well, and then the um, the staff is I don't want to give away too much about the narrative, mm -hmm. but each world, each realm as we call them, has a different staff, and when you recover the staff as you walk around, it. Uh, lights up the things around you so you don't have to actually touch them. So Which is nice because I was touching everything. Yeah, and it gives you the <laughs> sense of like, oh, I'm a lot more powerful. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to go through like a skill tree or something like that, which we hope and it's our understanding that makes it a little bit more accessible mm -hmm. for younger gamers or, or gamers who aren't really into like RPG systems or something like that. So the game is built around music. Do you have a musical background? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've been playing music for longer than most of my friends have probably been alive. And uh, I was a guitar and bass teacher for years. That's actually what I did while um, Ari and I were in grad school together. I was still mm -hmm. a guitar and bass teacher. I still play in a couple bands and I record. So I did all the, the music for it. And it's something that I genuinely think that like music is alive. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, it, I actually wrote the music system before the game w even got started. Ari one day was like, hey, let's make a game. And I was like, well, I wrote a music system for fun. Could we build a game around that? Be he was like, yeah. sure. Make this the core of the mechanic we built yep. it around. So. 
what are the what's the different biomes, different realms that you're going to be in? Because the one we were in was forest. What what else do we have to look forward to down the road? Sure. So the the forest realm is the first one. That's mm -hmm. kind of the I won't, don't want to call it the tutorial level, but it introduces you to all the main mechanics and those power ups about mm -hmm. which we were just talking. And then the last couple levels, once you get through the first four, it opens up to be non-linear, so you don't have to go just to the next level. And then we start seeing like Ari's really weird, sometimes vertical level design, Ooh. and he's really into retraversal. Uh, and so once you get past all of that, it opens up the um, clouds realm, which is up in the sky, mm -hmm. the islands realm, which is islands and has lava. The clouds realm has like jump pads instead of just freezing ice. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, islands realm also has these like flippy things. It's, you know, there's, there's things that make it specific. Mm -hmm. And then the glaciers realm, which is all frozen. And they're actually each analogous to a different musical staff. So uh -huh. like the C, the F, and the G staffs are all, the clefts are all part of that. I said staffs because guess what? There's a staff hidden mm -hmm. in each one that you have to find. And the head of the staff looks like the, the F clef or the C clef or something like that. This guy's then, a music guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you've, uh, once you've found all of the staffs and you've freed all of the worlds, all the levels, you actually uh, beat the game in a very specific way. So there's a bunch of different endings depending on what pickups you found, what things you've uh, woken up throughout the world. And even the name Newt One comes from being a new tone in a musical world. So one of the things I liked being, a, again, one of those people that grew up on the collectathons is when you got to the end of the level, it would tell you what you did, your percentage, and what you missed. And yep. there was one time we looked back trying to find it. I was like, I might find it later on in the game. But what's, did, did you do that because of the, the 3D collectathon trope? Or did you just kind of like, this is something I wanted to do because it's cool to look back and say, I'm this close to getting everything. Let me find that one little nugget. Absolutely the number two. It was, it was more like, Oh man, I either want to like find that right now, or I'm going to replay this level mm -hmm. a little bit later. And one of the other things that actually happens when you're playing the game, when, I don't know if you remember when you come up to a level, there's a little sign that tells you what the level is. Mm -hmm. Underneath that, it actually shows you what achievements you had on that level. So if, you don't have to go to the menu, you don't have to mm -hmm. go to the GUI to find out what your achievements were. They are all shown in the GUI, but it, just simply walking up to stuff is like, wait, I didn't get one of the things on this. Like, I'm going to go play this what, again. What did I miss? What do I need to go back to finish this yeah. game? And I found that's added a lot of depth. And uh, what we have found is a lot of people who are really into, like, 100% in games uh, who, who've already purchased it are, like, really into that aspect mm -hmm. of it and have, have replayed the game and specifically certain levels over and over again. And that's something I, I think is kind of left gaming where people are finishing games, not going back to them, whereas I remember playing, like, Super Mario 3 over and over and mm -hmm. over and over again and finding the best ways to do it, the most you fun ways to break it. You find all the hidden secrets as well. Exactly, like, Ooh, exactly. Do you hear about this thing? Do you hear about that thing? We're working on that for the for the Xbox Ooh. One and Steam release. For the October release, we're working on some some fun little things that we're going to hide just just to, you know, we know someone's going to find them and tweet about them eventually. Yeah, those hidden secrets. So we you, you mentioned Xbox One and Steam. Mm -hmm. Where can we, what platforms, uh, where can we get the game? Sure. And uh, when's it come out? Well, it came out on uh, itch.io and uh, Utomic back in February, and on Steam and Xbox One, our current release date is October 16th. So currently we're working on those platform conversions, mm -hmm. but it's available on Mac and PC on both uh, Utomic and itch.io, and we're talking to other places about other potential platforms cool. for release. We're oh. hoping to have uh, an October release on uh, at least, definitely those two, but mm -hmm. hopefully three or so, more platforms. Yeah. I was going to say, because to me... It I keep mentioning Manager Kazoo, but it feels like a perfect Switch game. And that everybody here says Switch is what everybody wants to go to. It's just, it's getting on Switch, I heard, is not the easiest yeah. thing. So I, I, I think with our aesthetic and our feel, yeah. it sounds it sounds like a slam dunk to me. Yep, I, I would tend to agree. All so right. where can we find more about the game? Where can you tell the other people oh, out there sure. what web website, social media links, all that kind of stuff? Sure. Uh, Devinari.com, D-E-V, my name is Dev, my partner's name is Ari, so D-E-V-N-A-R-I. A dot com, uh, Facebook, you can search Devonari on Twitter, we're DNA Newt One. And um, those are the main places to find us. Usually people find us, just, they just go to the website and then you can follow the social go media links. Yeah, that's the, kind of the easiest way to do it. Cool. I'm not going to lie, I might play some more because I'm super excited about this. Cool. It's right up my alley. A 3D platformer, Tom said, we watched it show up on the big screen. He goes, you're going to play that game at some point this week. <laughs> and I was like, probably. So that is Newt One coming out. Later on, on Steam yep. and Xbox One, and it's currently out on itch.io, and what was the other one? I can never remember. Uh, Utomic. Utomic. It's a new one I've never heard of. Yeah. We're going to look them up. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. You should check out New One. And as always, welcome to the second level. Bye. No game, but they say welcome to the second level.